What's up everyone, Kanan here, and welcome to my reaction for Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes Mysterious Mercenary Trailer. A whole new trailer for Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. Um, did not expect this. Uh, shout out to a good friend of the channel, Joey. He's the one that let me know about it as soon as I woke up. A uh, link to his trailer will be in the uh, description, so please go follow him. And um, I'm going to react to it. I've not seen it. I've avoided this thing all day. Me and Jess had to run out and get dinner and all that. And we're also kind of dog-sitting for my sister, so I had to go to her house and let her dog out and feed him and all that. Um, so a couple of things have come out. Uh, and all that. I've not read it. I just saved it on my phone to make sure that I could read it later because I'm sure I'm going to have some theories on this because apparently the Fire Emblem fandom is blowing up. Um, so yeah, reaction, then discussion. As always, guys, please, if you enjoy our content, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, click that like button, leave us a comment. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers as soon as we can. Okay, here we go. So yeah, apparently this character, we, we learned in the other trailer that this character does not like Byleth. So, or, like, the first trailer kind of made him look to be like an enemy. Okay. Was Byleth about to kill him? Okay. Okay, they're the protagonists, apparently. Well, at least there's going to be a female, like, I kind of expected that in a Warriors game. I kind of had a feeling there might be a second, an, another new character besides just using just the characters from, because that's how the the uh, first Fire Emblem Warriors went. Scarlet Blaze, that's the one I'll be going, definitely. Hubert. Azure Gleam, Okay. To do okay, so they're showing the lords plus their most trusted, who ne who you can't record uh, recruit. Golden Wildfire, I like that way more than Golden Deer. Hilda with a new look. I like her new look. It's really nice. Holy crap! Everybody getting wiped out. Lane. Oh wow. This looks really tactical, so that's good. Fits more of the Fire Emblem. Okay, this is standard warrior stuff. Flugel. Very three houses like with the missions. Edelgard. Monica, what? Okay. I think we saw her in the Link. Okay, Link uh, attacks just like in the three houses. Battle prep, okay. Oh, you can actually walk around. That's different for Warriors games. New classes. Mercedes. This world cries out for change, while you keep it I'm so confused. Who's that? Challenge the... Is Violet the villain? You were the cause that was missing from the turn here. The one final push that urged... Who was meant to fade in the wave of history. No New stories will fold in Foldland. Remember, I don't... I don't trust you. You look evil. I'm ready. I am ready. One hell of a fight, especially if the Ashen Demon is here. Don't like a smidge of what I heard about that fella. Or was it a woman? Wow. Okay. So a lot to unpack here. Is Byleth the villain? I know a lot of people are probably going to jump to that assumption or probably already have because this trailer uh, dropped this morning, which I, I'm just now seeing it until now. Um, it, it's hard to say because trailers cannot be trusted there's one little thing that was i want to okay i'm going to touch on this in a minute 
um trailers are very deceptive they can they can be very deceptive um so it seems like and because like i said i'm kind of not surprised they've created a whole new character to be the protagonist of this because it's a warriors game warriors games kind of tend to do that um as the first fire emblems warriors game they had the siblings who you could uh pick between or you could play as the other characters on the field if you wanted to um so it does kind of make sense for the story portion in a way that there's a new character um still male or female you can choose at and uh, all that um i got a sneaking suspicion that violet is not the main villain i have a feeling that it's kind of a it's it's like you know it might be like a midway boss and then you learn who is the true main villain of it all but here's the thing where does this game take place because i'm starting to think it's more of an alternate alternate reality i don't think the the events of this game take place during three houses um because monica is in it and we all know monica disappeared and was eventually taken over or well probably killed and then uh Kronia was uh using her uh, her appearance as a as a, as a disguise um so yeah i and also i think in the first trailer we saw Gerald so Gerald is apparently in this game don't know if it's a flashback don't know if he's actually playable in the game um we saw some you know we saw like the three most trusted allies of the three lords they're the characters who you can't recruit uh, unless you play it in their house which is uh hubert which we saw in the first trailer um to do and hilda also some other characters that's not very recognizable they're probably characters we've heard about before that get introduced um don't know how i feel about byleth being painted as an antagonist um I think Byleth, whether it's male or whether you choose male or female, will be playable. I really do think they'll join the cause at some point. But this right here, as a mercenary who was meant to fade into the waves of history, this makes me feel like maybe this Shez character, I think that's how you say it, um, character might have existed in the world of Three Houses, but they just were they were forgotten and something happened to make them more important also seems like they have like a character like sothis um that accompanies them maybe that's another thing i think byleth will have what will not be an antagonist because we heard sothis talking in that first trailer and sothis should really only be able to talk to byleth so i do think there may be a section of this game eventually where you can play as byleth who knows and to go further, um, there was a press release, and it has been partially um, translated. Uh, I saved these to my phone so I could read them, because uh, I was staying off uh, Twitter as much as I could, and then once I'm done with this, I'm going to be retweeting stuff like crazy. Um says Shez encounters Byleth in Imperial Year 1179, which is one year before the events of Three Houses. He slash she then wanders Fodlan, honing their skills for a rematch, eventually stumbling upon the students chased by bandits. And then another thing that says that Shez will join one of the Three Houses as its student, not as a professor or anything like that. So it's not like, apparently, they're not like taking Byleth's place. So, I don't know. This almost sounds like an alternate reality where Byleth didn't uh, meet the meet the students. So, is it? Did Byleth use their power over time and go back in time to prevent the events of Three Houses? To save, to save their father and all that? I, I don't know, because in this trailer... It was dark-haired Byleth, which the press release confirms is before the events of Three Houses. But in the other trailer that we saw there in the direct, we got a glimpse of Byleth with the light green hair, which does take place during the events of Three Houses. And we also saw that Shez had this transformation-like state going. Kind of like look, and it looked kind of 
evil in a way. Um, so I don't know. I, I really don't know what to take of this. We won't know until June when the game comes out. Um, hopefully some info will come out. Hopefully we learn more about Violet's role in this, but I think, I think it's, I think it's to be deceptive. They're may, they're wanting you to believe that Violet is the main antagonist when really there, there's probably going to be something more to it. But, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, click that like button. Um, Friday will be another episode of Fire Emblem Three Houses. Trying to get through that game as fast as I can before this comes out. Hopefully, I'll be able to. We should be heading heading into the war arc uh, this upcoming episode, so should definitely get done with it before this. But uh, as always, guys. This is Kanan. Me and Jess love you all so, so much. Thank you all for your continued support. Our subscribers are going up slowly but surely, so let's hit a 1,000 subscribers very, very soon. Stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. And I will see you in the next one. See ya.